the coevolution of rough skin newts and garter snakes. Coevolution is the evolution of two species in a response to the continuous adaption of the other as an attempt to gain an advantage. It typically happens between predator and prey. Edmund Brody Jr. investigated the newts that killed three hunters. He found that the newts had evolved not adapted to be poisonous. Normally, a rough-skinned newt looks brown, bumpy, and slimy, but when it is threatened, it shows its bright orange underbelly. The orange underbelly shows that the newt is poisonous. Other animals, such as monarchs and coral snakes, also use the orange color to show predators that they are poisonous. The poison found inside newts is called tetradoxin, or TTX for short. The toxin in newts is important because it helps them defend against predators, which in turn allows them to live longer and reproduce more. When the toxin is introduced into an animal's body, it has horrific effects. It affects the body by acting directly on the nerve cells. It keeps them from functioning, making the animal quit breathing. Although it does not have a constant supply of oxygen, the animal's heart and brain continue working. Other effects include being wobbly or weak in the knees, vomiting, being unable to move, and having an immediate blood pressure fall. What's unusual is that it contains enough poison in its 2.5 to 3.5 inch body to kill over 100 fully grown adult humans. The problem with having a lot of TTX is that the newt does not produce as much offspring as one with a lesser amount of the toxin. Newborn newts receive the same amount of the poison as the adults have. Since the adults without any tetradoxin will be eaten, they will not produce any offspring. When a newt has the perfect amount of poison, it will be protected from predators and produce a good amount of young newts. The ones with too much TTX will give the large amount of poison to the next generation but the next generation will have significantly fewer newts than the ones with the correct amount of poison. These newts will eventually die off, leaving only the ones with the right amount of poison, not too much and not too little. Newts have such a high amount of TTX because they need to protect themselves and their offspring against predators. The newt shown in this picture has the chance to kill the garter snake and prevent it from eating its young. Hopefully the newt has enough poison and the snake only has a little amount of protection from the toxins. If not, the young might have to defend themselves. When a newt makes TTX, it wastes a lot of energy, makes it slower, and reduces the amount of offspring it can have. In return, the newt is more likely to survive a predator attack. Similarly, if a garter snake increases its resistance, it uses more energy and makes it slower. The increased resistance allows the snakes to eat more poisonous newts without dying. In areas where the newts are the most toxic, the snakes are the most highly resistant, whereas in areas where newts are not toxic, the snakes have little to no resistance. Therefore, the snakes and newts are evolving in response to one another or co-evolving.